All right, guys. June 29th, International Fight Week, Las Vegas, McGregor versus Chandler. The talks are 185. Now, a lot of people seen a ton of speculation out there, a ton of comments, a ton of negative comments about the fight being at 185 and how the performances of each of us will be bad. The physique, the cardio, all of that stuff would just be really, really bad. Now, I think for me to unpack this a little bit, number one, just because the fight is at a higher weight class doesn't mean that both of us were trying to bulk up and gain weight and eat pizza and French fries all training camp, slack on our diets, show up to the fight out of shape, fat and sloppy. Um, I would essentially be doing the exact same training camp and I would, but I would just be doing it at a normal calorie intake instead of a calorie deficit. Now what's a calorie deficit? Calorie deficit means I am burning more calories than I'm taking in on a given day. So in a full 24 hour period, I would have burned much more, many, many more calories than I would actually be ingesting uh, throughout the day in order to get my body fat way down, in order to get my, you know, maybe a little bit of muscle wasting, honestly, during each camp, um, going from that 190 mark down to 155. And it, I do it in a slow, gradual progression. I will be honest with you, there's been times where I haven't had the best weight cuts. Maybe it was because of an injury. I wasn't able to do as much cardio. Um, I can tell you this, I know I had a, a laceration on my Achilles tendon right before the uh, Oliveira fight. Actually, the day that I got off the phone with the UFC that they said, you're fighting Charles Oliveira in May, it was like March, I was getting ready to go to training camp. I was already, I was out in San Diego. I stepped and slipped on uh, some tiles and I just absolutely cut the back of my ankle. So therefore, I wasn't able to do a ton of cardio, wasn't able to do any running wasn't even able to wear a shoe for eight weeks straight. So obviously, if you're not able to do a lot of cardio, then you could possibly kind of mess up your weight cut or your descension down from where you're, where you're at to where you need to go to make 155 pounds. So, um, but I do it over a long period of time. I try to bring my weight down, my body weight down, um, fat loss, a little bit of muscle wasting. And obviously at the end, we're going to dehydrate a little bit. So, I would keep my diet the same. I'd be eating the same things, lean meats, vegetables, very little carbs. Might introduce a little bit of carbs this uh, this camp. Um, I'd probably find that out in the next uh, month or two as I start to kind of do some uh, experimentation, if you will, training with a little bit of carbs, maybe a little bit of sweet potato, but mainly just high protein and vegetables um, and just not operate as at as much of a calorie deficit because I still want to look good. I still want to look like this guy on fight week. So this picture was taken day before the weigh-ins um, probably. So I'm probably sitting at 170, 165, um, fully hydrated, water loading. And then obviously I bring it down, uh, but I still want to look lean. I still want to look like an athlete. That's what I've always tried to do. I, I've always, I've never wanted to be that guy who Pictures get taken of me and people say, dang, Chandler's out of shape. Now, obviously, I've had some injuries here and there after the Gaethje fight. Both feet and ankles and shins and legs were banged up really, really bad. So didn't do uh, much cardio moving around for um, six weeks, eight weeks, and it was over the holidays. So obviously, uh, that took its toll. But overall, I want to look like an athlete. So a fight camp at 185 or fighting for 185 is going to be the exact same weight, weight, camp, weight cut or in the exact same, exact same nutrition, except I'll just be eating a little bit more, probably a little bit more protein and maybe a little bit more carbs. Um, I'd have less muscle wasting, so I would keep the same muscle mass, but I would be doing enough cardio, still doing my bike workouts, still doing my runs, uh, still doing my fast-paced, fast-twitch, cardio-centric strength and conditioning stuff that you guys see me do, plus all the sparring, wrestling, grappling, jujitsu, all that stuff, um, but just keep that muscle mass on and be fully hydrated the entire camp and the entire weight cut. Because um, to me, size does not equal advantage. So if this fight gets booked at 185 and I'm sitting at 190, I'm not going to try to get up to 210 and mess up my diet, mess up my body weight. Because this is what I've always said about Connor. Connor's comeback 
whether we did fight at 170, there, there was no indication that it was going to be at 155, but the talks were at 170. Um, now the talks are obviously at 185. So 170 or 155 or 185. The way I see it is I've been competing at 155 for all these years. I'm definitely heavy for the weight class to get down to 155. Um, and I, I am going to be operating within the same kind of body composition as I normally do. Whereas he has been off for two years. It'll be three years by the time he actually gets inside the octagon. Um, and he is going to have to navigate and negotiate how to do all of his, all of his moves, all of his techniques, navigate each exchange inside of the fight with a lot more muscle mass than he used to have. A bigger frame, which probably means less cardio, more oxygen use, um, more lactic acid to build up, and him just trying to move and be the old Connor that we uh, we all loved back in 2016, 17, 18, 19, um, or maybe before that. Um, so I don't believe that size is, is an advantage. I would stay the same exact weight I am right now, and I would just eat a little bit more and have the same camp so I can still get just as shredded as I looked like at 155. Um, fighting at 185. The last thing I would say is he is not stronger than me. So I don't need to gain weight. I don't need to gain any more strength. I don't need to do any more than what I'm already doing. The dude is not stronger than me. Now, have we seen pictures of him looking big? Absolutely. Had, did we see him, uh, you know, a couple of pictures leaked from the roadhouse and he looked huge with the big beard and all that kind of stuff? Of course. Is he bigger than he used to be? Absolutely. Do we, we see each other side by side at the ultimate fighter? And um, he definitely looked bigger than we all probably thought he was because he was a natural 145er. Then he started fighting 155, fought a couple fights at 170, but he fought all 155 pounders at 170. That's important to know. Um, so now he would be a, he's a natural 155 pounder. I am a 55 pounder and we would just be fighting at 185. So he's not stronger than me. I would like anybody in the comments. I would like anybody to uh, tag me in videos of him lifting heavy weights. Go out there and show me a video of Conor McGregor lifting heavy, heavy weights. I actually looked before I actually got on this video. You can't find any videos of this man lifting heavy, heavy weights. Now, take you back a couple of years ago when John Jones said, hey, I'm no longer a 205er. I'm coming back and I'm jumping up to heavyweight. You remember when those videos ever po they were getting posted, they were, they were circulating? John Jones deadlifting a thousand pounds. John Jones throwing crazy amounts of weight on his back. Now I get it. He's a heavyweight, different than us, 55, 70, 185 or whatever, 55, 70 years. But I challenge you guys, find me one video of Connor out there lifting heavy, heavy weights. He's not stronger than me. I hit harder than, harder than he does. I'm not worried about the size in this fight because he and I are relatively within three to five pounds of each other. So if you think I'm going up to 210 to cut down to 185, it ain't going to happen. i be the same guy, foot on the gas, trying to end the fight at every single moment and ultimately end his reign as the Conor McGregor that we, a lot of people have lost faith in him. Um, and, uh, but there's a lot, still a lot of believers who want to see his comeback, but I will go ahead and uh, sour the night on June 29th. And uh, so, just figured I'd do a reaction video to everybody talking about this fight being at 185. I see the the meme, memes being posted. We looked for one. We were going to throw it up here. But um, there's a video or a picture of us side by side, face off. Both of us got big old round heads and big old poofs on the back of our neck as if we're going to be sloppy, overweight, eating pizza and fries and fried foods and drinking soda uh, the entire training camp. We are both professionals, whether the fight's at 185, 170, 155, wherever it is at. I'm going to be this same guy right here because size to me is not an advantage. Uh, Connor is not stronger than me. He's not bigger than me. And uh, I've already been thinking about this fight being at 170. I thought about the, the prospect of if the fight does go to 155, I'm ready for that as well because I've done it 20-something times. A um, couple of fights at 170, a couple of fights at catch weights, but mainly 155. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if I'm making any sense to you guys. Let me know if you guys have enough faith in the professionalism of how I view the sport and how I view the supplementation aspect of it, the cardio aspect of it, the strength training aspect of it, the nutrition and diet aspect of it. Um, I've been doing this for 22 years, 14 years old. I started cutting weight, started maintaining my weight, 
um, started wrestling, started fighting at 22 years old, I believe, right after college. Um, 100 something wrestling matches in high school, 130 something wrestling matches in college, 31 fights. I've never missed weight, never pulled out of a fight, never pulled out of a wrestling match. So I am not worried about it. Professionalism and discipline is my strong suit. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys are underwhelmed, overwhelmed, um, not happy, very happy about the weight class or possible weight class or whatever it may be. And let me know your thoughts. Um, I appreciate you guys. Either way, we will find out soon. June 29th, International Fight Week, Las Vegas, McGregor versus Chandler. The greatest comeback in sports history, he says. We're going to soil the night. God bless. I'll see you at the top.